Hey YouTube, uh, it is league turnover today, and this week we have the Master League and Halloween Little Cup. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go over the uh, Halloween Little Cup, what you need to look for, Pokemon, teams, etc. However, before we can do that, we can need to talk about Niantic's incompetence, lack of expertise, just not having anyone that plays GBL, apparently. Um, because what happened was Niantic has recognized that once Ultra League and Master League became, once XL came into the game, Ultra League and Master League became XL dependent. So if you do not have the XLs, or you, let's say you're like, whether for whatever reason you don't play enough, or you are new to the game, you cannot play Ultra League and Master League. So at one time it was just like Ultra League was on, that was your only choice. So when they introduced XL, if you didn't have the XL Pokemon, you didn't play that week. And that was the same with the Master League and they're back to back. So that's like two weeks of people not playing. So to their credit, what they did was introduce a little cup or a great league with each Ultra League and Master League week. So for example, Ultra League with a little cup, Master League with a great league, Ultra League with a Sun great league Sunshine Cup, Master League with a little cup this week. Um, and then we go down to November 12th, Ultra League with a great league willpower, Master League with a great league retro. So no matter what, if you have an Ultra League or Master League, you have a great league or little cups so that is it is accessible to people great thinking niantic except that's as far as their thinking took them because then what happened is they introduced the little halloween cup and you're like okay what's the problem with that well the problem with that is uh shuckle at 98.9 overall rating and mural at 96.8 uh sits 13 to 15 above the next pokemon in greninja and when you start going into the matchups, uh, Shuckle has a 12 and four record, although two of those losses are to the same Pokemon Clodsire. So really you only have three Pokemon that can beat you in this entire meta, Mural, Clodsire, and Ponyard. And it is the same thing with Mural, uh, 13 and four record, but the same thing, you have a Shadow and Non-Shadow Scroopy. So there's just three Pokemon that can beat you. So when you're trying to think about team building for this league um, let me just make this a little wider so you can see um, so when we think about team building for this league and you just say oh i'm going to cheat the system i have a shuckle and i have a mural and then you look at their wins and it looks like this um, for those of you who do not know what these circles and x's mean anytime you see an x in this thing it means these top pokemon beat them so shuckle will beat every single Pokemon, except for Clodsire and Mural, and then it will tie in a mirror match. And Mural will beat every Pokemon, except for Fungus, Screlp, Scroopy, and then tie in the mirror. So for team building, there's basically three ways you can team build. The first is Shuckle, Mural, and literally any other Pokemon that you have on in your inventory. It really does not matter. Uh, if you actually want to cover some of your weaknesses, um, here's some recommendations in K, Zigazoon, Zigzagoon, uh, Purloin, Scrub, Guzzard, Golette, right? So just covering your your ground type Pokemon. You're covering your, yeah, ground or poison type Pokemon with some of these Pokemon. Um, so you either just go the top two meta, or your second option is because mural is actually a cover to shuck to shuckle what you could do is just go mural with two other pokemon um potentially covering your scroopy and scrub right so if you could just do that um go with like inkay or your mud pokemon to go let something like that to beat your poisons here let but again dark here if i just go like that just to see uh, just to give you an example. And so, yes, it's not as good, but you know what? It covers the weakness. And then you have basically straight cover and then just cover your third with whatever, a po probably a poison. Poison seems to be pretty good in this meta uh, because you have Mira, which is a fairy. The third option is just go counter to these two Pokemon. Just go, I know that these Pokemon are such cheat codes. I'm just literally going to choose three of the hardest answers to this Pokemon. But there's a problem with that. Uh, and the problem with that lies with what can actually beat these Pokemon. So for Shuckle, key losses here, you could see it's like 
okay, the top Pokemon or Clawsire. So when we build up the full um, thing that we just kind of looked at here, like I said, Mural, Clawsire, and Ponyard. Let's just say, okay, we don't have a Mural, but we do have a Clawsire, Ponyard, and those two can beat Shuckle. So let's put in Clawsire and Ponyard to see what comes up, right? So we put in Ponyard, uh, we put in Clawsire, and the problem is, what you're going to see is uh, Mural is going to answer um, both of these. So you will beat Clawsire here, and you will destroy Ponyard because you are a fairy and water. So you resist pretty basically all the charge moves. So you can't just go there, and it's the same thing uh, with Mural. So you look at the key losses. Uh, you get some Nidoqueen. Wait, no, Nidoqueen. Uh, it's not Nidoran, but again, Nidoran is like beats it, but it's not like a top meta. So like Scroopy. Scroopy is a top meta. So let's just get just this add Scroopy on this list just to give you an example. Uh, Scroop. Is it Scroopy or Scrop? No, it is Scroopy. S-K-O-R. So maybe I'm not even saying it right. Scroopy, put in there. So it will beat Mural, which is great. Uh, but then, oh yeah, it loses to Shuckle, right? And when you have two Pokemon, where is it? Let me find them here. Sorry, let me just delete some of these. Um, When you have two Pokemon that, when put together in the Halloween Cup, have a win-loss like this, and then you have, at best, trying to just counter these, and your win-loss looks like this. So it comes down to um, what do you think this meta is going to be? Are you just going to go, I have a Meryl, I have a Scroopy, I have, sorry, Shuckle, I know their cheat code, I'm just going to run with these two and dominate. Or you can say, I'm just going to, you know what, I'm going to counter these two as best as I can. Again, you can't even do it that well. You got like one win with the Clotzer against the Shuckle and one win with the Scroopy, but there's still a bunch of losses. Um, so, and then this is just like completely ignoring literally everything else in this meta, right? So it's like, I'm just going to build to try and beat these while just like foregoing team building for the rest of this meta. Um, or if you're lucky enough to have like one of these Pokemon, just build like one and then like completely, uh, just build against your weaknesses, right? So if I have a Shuckle, I will build a Shuckle plus two Mural answers or two Claude Sire answers. Like that's essentially how you'd build with Shuckle. Um, but what that ends up doing is you have a league dominated by two XL Pokemon. And I'm going to do a Master League team this afternoon. When you go to the Master League, um, yes, it is very XL focused, and probably people will, like, again, Zygarde, uh, not many people have the Zygarde, but like, some of these Pokemon have been around for a while. Um, probably get Origin, not so much, but like Yveltal, Ho-Ho, Rhyperior, uh, Florga is like, again, not even a legacy, not even legend here. And the and the difference between the sort of top ranks, let's say we're going to ignore Zygarde because it's, I mean, I shouldn't ignore it, but it's, it's like those are super rare. As opposed to like Shuckle, which is not going to be that rare. Like there's a lot of people that have a built up Shuckle. There's not a lot of people that have a built up Zygarde. Um, like the difference between like Palkia at two and when you go down to like 10, um, is only like six ish rate, like six points overall. Whereas like the jump from like, uh, Shuckle Mural to Greninja was like 14. It's just like such a difference between your, the strength of the rest of the meta and these top two Pokemon. So again, this is this is 100% where Niantic's, again, I said at the beginning, it's either incompetence 
or lack of thinking, or they just don't understand what's in this meta, like, is really coming to play here. If their goal was to give people the ability to play in a league that is not XL Dominate focused, they just made it 20 times worse because they just made that league with only two Pokemon that dominate and the rest of the Pokemon not excel but cannot compete with them on almost any level. So it's just one of those things where it's like, this week is going to be bad. Like, I know, I've seen it in the comments already, and thank you for those who are still going to watch the videos, but I know 50% of my regular player base will just take this week off. There is no point to play Master League if you don't have these XL Pokemon. And realistically, I'm telling you right now, there's not a lot of reason to play Little Cup, Halloween Cup, if you don't have a Shuckle and Mural. So it really just kind of limits um, who's going to play this week. And it goes against everything that Niantic is trying to do with doing these Little Cups and stuff like that. And I think what like kind of frustrates me the most is I talk about Niantic's laziness when it comes to this stuff in um, how, yes, they changed the meta. Great. Like, the meta switch has been fantastic. I was so sick of the Lantern, Gligar, Skarmory meta. That meta is completely gone. There's so many more options in the Great League. Thank you. Fantastic. Niantic's laziness is often seen in their league rotation. There is literally nothing the galar the galar cups are new because this is the galar season though so these cups are new but it's just focused on the season that we have for the larger league but psychic cup um sunshine cup halloween cup willpower cup retro cup catch cup none of these leagues are new so not only are they like not thinking about new leagues but they're not even like thinking about the pokemon that are going to be in these leagues they just have these leagues in their inventory that they've done in the past and they're like oh maybe we haven't done this one in a while let's break this one out or again it's halloween cup it's october halloween cup time without actually thinking through what is in that um what is in that meta and it comes down to they don't know they don't again we know that some community managers and other people in the in who like work for nantic do not play gbl um, so it really comes down to like, they don't know and don't care enough about like what's going on on a week to week basis in this. They're just taking like the easiest path to just put cups here. It's a three month season. Here are the leagues. Now we don't need to think about this for two months and three weeks. And then we'll come back and we'll do, um, some updates of the moves and then we'll repeat a bunch of leagues for the next season. Right. So. Anyways, that's enough ranting. That's a long way of saying, uh, if you got a shuckle and mural, sweet. If you don't, probably just take the week off, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll still put out Master of Master League teams this afternoon if you want to check out those. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.